Today we're going to talk about how we're going to uh, rebuild the pump on this on this EC021. And uh, the first step for removing your pump, of course, is you're going to take off your suction tube. And you can see there's the, the clamp here. You just simply pinch the clamp and push down and it comes right off. And then you push straight down on your tube and it comes right out. And then we'll separate the drain tube. Just to get it out of our way, we can remove the drain tube. That takes it about a millimeter. And I'll loosen it. It's kind of stiff. Alright, now, what we need to do in order to remove the pump is we have to first make sure that it's at the very bottom of its travel. And, and the only way we can do that is by turning the fan from behind. So the way we would do it on this machine, is we're going to remove this, this frame leg and then we're going to open this cover. And to do this, I'll put it into its side and make it easier. socket cap screws. There's two of them. I'm taking a four millimeter. These are also short ones. Okay, I think that's all the screws. Just make sure you this doesn't fall out you don't have it. You lift the cover away. And now we just have to turn the pump to its very lowest position and the way we can do that is just use a Phillips head screwdriver on that and you spin the fan and then you watch the action of the pump and turn it. As you can see the, we're going to make it go to the bottom of its stroke. Okay, that's the bottom. Alright, and now we're just going to turn the pump. We've gone all the way to the top of its stroke and now we're going to go back down. It will release there. And now you see right there, it's just going to slide right off to the front. Okay, and now to dismantle the pump, your first step is use your tiny bar to remove your packing nut. In this pump, the whole pump will come apart toward the top, so we can push up from the bottom. We just use our tiny bar like that. And then we'll pump it. And come apart like that. And you have your upper packings and your spring. And then the rest of the packings are still inside the pump and you can just pull them out. And then you got your packing set. And you can just pull them out one by one. Put back in snap. Our springs. And you see this one is concave down, next one concave up, last one's concave down. And now what we're going to do is we're going to remove the check ball. And for that you're going to need an 8mm open end wrench or some similar tool to hold it in place because it will be tight. 
And so hold it from turning. And then use our six millimeter L hex key. So when I remove this, out comes there's the O-ring, the ball seat, and then the ball. And out they come. And the ball seat has a beveled edge here, and that's the part that faces the ball. And so now that we have everything clean and we're ready to start putting everything back together again, we'll start with our new packings. And our new check balls. We can start with our small check ball. And before we begin assembling the packings, we need to soak them in oil for at least an hour. This is the upper packing set. And this is the lower packing set. And they're held together in order. Now when we're going to put in the new check ball, we have to make sure everything is in the correct order. Now take a look at some of these parts because, well, this is the end of the the set screw and you can see that it has a shoulder. Now that shoulder is, is for this O-ring. So you can put the O-ring right on there first. And then, you notice the ball seat, there's two sides. One side has this recess, this kind of a shoulder, uh, it's like a shoulder there. And that's going to be the side that faces the O-ring. And the other side, if you look at the center, you can just see that it's got a bevel. And that's the part that's going to face the ball. So we can pre-assemble it. We can put the ball seat onto the end of the set screw like that. And then we put the ball. And now we assemble it. Probably the easiest way to do it is just to come down on it like that and just start the threads. But we also have to put on some Loctite. So you can put on some blue Loctite on there before you can continue. And you get your Allen key. Your set screw will, will not be able to go all the way in. It should, you should see the set screw going below flush with the end of the piston. Yeah, then we know our ball is seated. And you can hear it rattle around in there. That's fine, that's normal. So now we're just going to tighten it fully. And now we're going to do the packings themselves. Now first we'll do the upper packings. And you have to know the orientation of those. Let me just pull them on my oil. I think they've been in there about an hour, so they're ready to go. Now the orientation of the, the upper packings matters. But they're going to be you can see the packing set. There's two sides, right? And the side you want is you want them to be, well, from this orientation, the packings will be with the concave side facing up towards you. So this side, you can see it's, it's uh, concave and it's flat on this side. That's the first one that goes in. The next one is the spacer, concave side up. And next is the first of your leather packings. And your final, your final is this spacer. And you see there's, this side is rounded and this side is square. And the square side is the part that faces out toward you. And that one is ready to go. Now the easiest way to put the packings on, since half of them are facing down, half are facing up, is to split them and split the set into the, the half. The half which are con concave down, we'll do those first. And we'll come down from the top with our piston onto them. And now the other half will come down from the top, because these ones are with the concave side facing up. And so we can just press those on from the top down. Mm -hmm. right, next will be the spacer. And that will be followed by the springs. 
And remember the springs, you notice these are, these have a curve to them. And the first one you're going to put is the one convex side down. Then the next one, convex side up. And the last one, again, convex side down. So they will have their spring effect. And now we'll, finally, we'll put the upper packings in place on the piston first. And be careful as they go over the shoulder. Now the easiest way to put the pump together is to simply put the entire set in place. There we go. And then we, we can start the packing that. And then we need to get our piston pushed up so that we can reassemble it to the pump. So we want it to be sticking up a little bit, like that. We want to align it, make sure it's lined up. Right, now we're going to do our lower check ball and start with this seal and you can see the shoulder. The shoulder will be, fa will be facing up, so you put that in place, followed by this metal spacer. And then you take your check ball, put it in the ball seat, like so. And that can be done before or after you replay, put the pump on the machine. Now make sure you have your pump at its lowest possible point, and then make sure that these two slots are perpendicular, and then you're going to just slide the pump into position. You just get the angle right. slides in. It's a good idea to put some Loctite on these bolts before you tighten them. Get the first bolt started. No, the, these screws are different lengths. Six of them are, are, going, are 30 millimeters. Two of them are 25 and two are 20. So the two shorter ones are going to go in this hole and this hole. And then the two medium, the 25s, is going to go this hole and this hole. And all the others will be the long ones. So I'll put the cover in place. Make sure I'm not pinching any wires. And make sure that the gland for the power supply cable is lined up properly. And I'll very carefully put my cover in place. Okay. Now the motor, motor housing is tight and I'll put out the, the leg. suction hose. And then 
this is the cut. So make sure it goes all the way in before you clip the clip. Push out my heart out, make sure it's fully seated. And then we just put the clip in. The clip is good. And finally we'll put in the drain 